Yo, what's going on y'all? So I've been putting this video off for a long time. I got this email from Boxable back February the 1st. All right, February the 1st at 7.46 p.m. And I was putting it off at first because I was waiting to, uh, to get my LLC so I can put everything up under there, my new business. So we have that now, even though it is November the 4th, God, it's, it's, but it's, no, it's November the 4th, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into this thing and fill out everything. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. As you guys can see, this was sent to me by Boxable. Important next steps for your Boxable Casita order. All right, so this is basically saying hi, potential box, Boxable customer. Thank you so much for your patience. As we get the Boxable factory up and running, that actually now they have two, or they're in the process of getting two right now. We are working hard to scale up production and build as many Boxable casitas as fast as possible to meet demand. As we get closer to shipping to the public, we would love to collect some information from you in your order to plan the next steps. So actually, uh, they've already made it to shipping to the public uh, as far as I know. I believe I've seen people already start to receive their orders um, outside of that government order that they had to fill. But anyway, uh, would you mind filling out this form at this link? So we're gonna go ahead and click here, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and continue. Not all questions will apply to you. Please provide as much information as possible. As soon as we have more information in the next steps, and I'm gonna say this guys, I believe that I probably would have already had my box well had I would have went ahead and did this stuff. But it, it, it's all good. And and next steps on your box with Casita, we will reach out to you again. Check out our latest factory update video. I'm good on that, bro. I'm good on that. But it just basically says, uh, thanks, Boxable sales team. And then, you know, they have their little email right here. And if you guys want to do any investing, well, it did start at uh, 76 cent per share back then. Not sure where it is right now, but without further ado, let's get it. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, we are here, man. Oh, cannot wait. Let's get it. All fields are optional. Keep that in mind. All fields are optional. Please provide as much information as possible. Many questions won't apply to you. It's okay to leave them blank. All right, so they're asking for the first and last name. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Yes, sir, proudly. Listen, y'all, I don't type all that fast, so get off my job. Yes, sir. Put that info in. All right, guys, like I've been telling you for the longest, we have been waiting to, to go ahead and kickstart this uh, LLC, which is GQ Real Estate Company. That is officially my real estate company. It's all mine. It's my baby. And we're going to rock with it. And so company or organization name. This is re really what sparked the idea for my company, GQ. All right, guys, there you go. GQ Real Estate LLC. We are in there. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. Got the first, last name, got the phone number, email address, company, organization name. That is gonna be up under. It's gonna go ahead and get that information as far as your address, street address, address, city, state, zip code, all the rest of that. Let's go ahead and key that in. Information I'm not gonna show you guys. All right, then after that, they're going to ask you what address would you like to receive your casita? And, you know, this stuff can change before. I'm pretty sure they're going to they're going to ask you again when it's time for you to really receive your casita. Anyway, let's get into some of these questions. Welcome. But that's for at least 50 units. All right. For at least 50 units. We're we not we're not trying to do that right now. All right. Okay, so it's asking, what kind of customer are you? I'm other. No. All right. If you are a professional customer, have you developed real estate before? 
Nah, fam. It's going to be a first. All right. Go ahead and scroll on down to these next few questions. Okay, so they said, do you have contractor's license? No. That would be another no. What will you use your casita for? Okay, they have a few different choices right here. Backyard, accessory, do dwelling unit, apartment, community, single family, community, workforce, housing, government, other. All right, single family, community. Okay, so they're asking, are you a end user, builder, developer, company, nonprofit, government, or other? So I put an other in that play. LLC, cuz. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> All right, so they said, are you interested in becoming part of the Boxable Early Deployment Program? I don't even know what the heck that is. If you are selected, you would pay cash up front and be assigned a delivery date. Mmm. Hamburger. I'm gonna say yes. We did the exact same thing with that Tesla. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> how will you pay? How will you pay for your boxable casita? We're gonna finance it. All right. Do you need help finding financing? No, we don't need any help. What is your credit score? <laughs> On contra, corn fritter. Uh, <laughs> I believe we are around like a 740-ish, something like that. Might be 770, I don't know, I gotta check it again. All right, do you have equity in your home? No, I do not. Okay, so it says, do you have space to storage your casita if we ship it early? Yes. Please provide additional details. What, like, like what, brother? We ain't even gonna answer that. How many casitas do you need? Go ahead and give me 23 of them things. All right, guys, we're just gonna start off with one. We're just gonna get one casita for right now. It says, what is your total budget for this project? All right, so let's go ahead and add you up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you guys know I've been waiting on this thing for a minute since before February, before I put in my order. All right, I was already, I was waiting on that thing at the dose. Anyway, so when the box bowl first came out, it was about $49,500. $49, and if you were to do monthly, it would be somewhere around like $250 monthly. So, uh, we went up to Boxable and the guy was basically just telling me that this was the old Boxable. There is basically a Boxable 2 that's coming out that's going to be a little bit more. All right, he didn't give me a price on it and I'm not sure if I've been locked in because I've had my Boxable order for as long as I had, but we're just going to go ahead and throw a number out there. Let's just say the Boxable itself is $60,000 instead of 49500 I think that's a big price jump, but I always like to uh, provide myself with a little bit of headroom. So the box split itself is $60,000, all right? I'm just saying. And transport to destination was anywhere, I can check their website again, but back then it was anywhere from $3 to $10 per mile. So from Las Vegas, to Charlotte, North Carolina is about 2,200 miles. Yeah, that boy definitely did. Hey, I did my research, Blair. So it's about 2,200 miles. And if you're looking at $3 per mile or $10 per mile, what is the range? The range is anywhere between $6,600 and $22,000 to transport that thing from Las Vegas to Charlotte, North Carolina. So. I actually did a lot of research and I actually found a few different companies uh, that would be able to transport that boxable, you know, uh, and I checked out the, uh, the shipping weight, the height, the width, the length, the freight class, everything. I have all of that stuff down if you, if you guys want it. The, uh, the shipping weight was about 12,000 pounds. The shipping height was 13.6 feet which is about 163.2 inches. The width was about eight, 
8.6 feet and then it was 103.2 inches and the length was about 20 feet which is about 240 inches. The freight class was 175. Jot that down, man. A lot of information. It took me a little minute to get there, but I got it. And one of the companies uh, was basically saying that, you know, after they received all that information, it was going to be roughly around about $5,000, which isn't bad compared to what Boxable was offering, which again was 6,600 or 22,000. Didn't know, but they gave me a quote, a price that it was gonna it was gonna be shipped correctly. When nothing gonna happen to it, they're gonna keep it safe. All of that, put pillows around it for five thousand dollars, and estimated delivery time for that was about four business days. So, all right. So right now we're looking at roughly about sixty five thousand dollars. So you got six sixty thousand for um, the box of itself to transport it from Las Vegas to Charlotte, North Carolina, which again, about 2,200 miles is about 5,000, roughly around like $5,000. And now you have to think about the price of the land and the setup, all right? The setup, the uh, utility hookups, foundation, landscaping, the permits, all of those things. So it was one guy that was online, shout out to my dog, uh, what is his name, Carrie? I want to say his name is Kerry. I'm not sure what his last name is, but Kerry was spending some big money, man. He was saying that the uh, the price for all of that stuff could be anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000. Again, that is a huge lump sum of money. And of course, KD found it at a cheaper price. So the land, the land is going to be a little bit iffy when it comes to the land. You know, you may be able to find something up under uh, $10,000, which is, of course, going to be under an acre of land or whatever. Land. Land right now in certain areas, in certain areas that are around here, you can actually get, you know, a little bit over a quarter of an acre of land, actually, like, right up under a half acre of land for somewhere between five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, all right? Now, you're going to have to do some work to that land. Just keep that in mind, but I've, I've seen a lot of different properties between the ranges of five and ten thousand uh, dollars for land. The next thing you're gonna have to worry about is foundation, hookups, permits, all of those things. So, foundation uh, for about a thousand square feet, I was seeing somewhere around nine to ten thousand dollars. All right, for a thousand square feet. I don't think I'm gonna need that much right now. So I looked around and I seen some things that was about uh, 600 square feet for about a little bit under 5,000. Then I, look, I did a little bit more deep diving and actually found some things uh, that would be able to support the boxable casita for around three and four thousand dollars. All right. So if we look at just that, and that's that, uh, when you think about the, the permits and all of those things, you know, we'll just throw in an extra thousand dollars. Who's to say it might be a lot less, but just throw an extra thousand dollars. So right now we got five to ten thousand dollars for the land. So we'll just say ten thousand at most. And then we got three to four for, you know, the uh, everything else, the permits and all the rest of those things. So we'll just round it up to 5,000 when we include the extra thousand for the permits and everything else. So we got 10,000 and then we got another 5,000. So roughly, what are we looking at right now, guys? About 90, let's say 90,000 to get everything pretty much up and running, all right? Looking at about $90,000. Okay. <clears throat> What will you do with your boxable casita or casitas? Gonna be using some for rental, uh, for office space, and then the other ones will basically be some rental properties, all right? Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Do you already own the land where you will deploy your casita? Is, is your land prepared, all right? Do you got that thing graded, utilities, foundation, etc. cetera? 
If you're if you answer yes above, please describe the location and the land preparation that has been completed. Gotcha. All right, just a little quick list of some things that you guys are going to have to get done. Utility hookups, foundation, landscaping, permits, blah, 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 blah. All right. Does your project require permits or approvals? And you have some notes right here. If you want to go ahead and put some extra stuff right there, you can. Have you checked with your local building department that zoning will allow you to build your project? All right, and then you have some more notes right here. We're not gonna use those notes. Let's keep scrolling. All right, do you have any plan approvals from your local building department? Bam. All right, keep scrolling. We got some more notes if you want to enter in some extra information right there, guys. Feel free. Does your property have utilities set up to your to support your casita units? You should. Please provide additional details regarding the question above. Additional details like what? Do you have a, a contractor to install your casita? Hmm. You can click no, help me find one. No, I don't need one. So the safe is if you're getting your baby, getting your boxable casita set up uh, or not, you're not setting it up just yet. That would be the only reason why I would say no, I don't need one. Um, but I believe that boxable should be able to help us out with that. All right. Which type of casita certifications will you require? Okay. All right, which type of boxable casita will you buy? All modulars can connect. All right, so they have a few different things. You got the boxable bear, um, which is 400 square feet. Projected price is around $40,000. It's an empty room and you can customize it yourself. You can get the casita basic, which is uh, what I have. And it's again, about 400 square feet. Projected price about $500,000, well my bad, $50,000. You have a kitchen, a bedroom as featured on the website. So that's basically uh, what Boxable have been showing us. All right. And then if you want to be extra, <laughs> you can go ahead and get the Casita Fancy, which is, again, 400 square feet, projected price around $100,000. All right. You get a kitchen, a bedroom, upgrade cabinets, flooring, smart home, and more. Come on, brother. I'm just gonna stick with the basic, or you can go with other, because they also have, uh, you know, the uh, the other boxables as well, the bigger ones. But we're just gonna stick to the boxable Casita basic, 400 square feet. And then if you have any, if you have any additional documents that you would like to to share with Boxable, then you can go ahead and drop it down below. All right, guys. So I do believe that I have filled this out to the best of my knowledge. And we're gonna go ahead and submit this thing and just wait for Boxable to contact us. Man, I have been waiting so freaking long to do that. And again, I believe that I probably would already have my Boxable by now if I would have filled this thing out months ago. But guys, we're just gonna wait and see uh, what Boxable has to say. And, and, And we'll, and we'll go from there, man. I will keep you guys updated, all right? So today is November the 4th, 2022. It is 11.10 p.m. at night. I'll keep you guys up to date with that boxable, man. And we're going to put these things everywhere. I plan on getting at least five to six of these things, all right? We're going to start off with one, and then we'll just ramp up from there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.